downtown Chicago, Illinois, in the ESPN zone, home today to two of the greatest trick shot artists in the world. This man, Paul Gurney, the 2000 World Championship of Artistic Pool champion, will face off against Tennessee Tarzan, Mike Massey, the 2000 WPA World Artistic Pool champion. It's the finals. It's time for some trick shot magic. Welcome inside the ESPN Zone the Billiard Shootout. Trick shot magic. A lot of excitement all week amidst the splendor of the zone. Paul Gurney on the left, Mike Massey on the right. One of these two will walk away with $25,000. Mitch Lawrence and Alan Hopkins, thrilled as always to be here, bringing you the action. This will be the lag for the first shot. Mike Massey will have that opportunity. Let's take a look at our Rollhausen format. 12 shots for each player, eight of them skill and four artistic. Alan, what's the difference? Artistic shots are the way the balls are set up. Skill shots are massage shots and jump shots. Each player with alternate shots, the opponent must duplicate the prior shot. Two tries per shot with one point for each shot made. Here, the road to the finals, you see. Mike Massey beats Stefano Palinga of Italy. Paul Gurney beating Lars Reber of Norway. One of these two, $25,000 and the title. Mike Massey setting up his first skill shot. This is going to be a blast, Alan. Let's listen to Mike. The new shot I came up with. Uh, I'm going to shoot the one ball into the cushion. One ball banks out of the way. It doesn't have to go. The cue ball hits the cushion, goes around the six ball. Goes up, pockets the nine ball. If it scratches, it's still okay. Main thing is just around the six with the, without hitting a six and pocket the uh, nine ball corner pocket. Yeah, the reason Mike calls is a force follow you know, shot because he's going to hit inch high Wait, English on the cue so. ball. After the cue ball hits the rail, the force follow will take to the cloth and go down table and pocket the eight and nine. And too much force follow on I hit it that particular it. shot. And Mike says he hits it too good. Okay, just like the last shot. I stroked it too good that time. I'm going to shoot into the one ball. Cushion's going to hit the, uh, the cue ball's going to hit the cushion, go around the six, and go up and pocket the seven, I mean the uh, nine ball, the corner pocket. And that's the reason Mike missed it last time. You've seen the curved lines there. The cue ball had too much follow on it and kept going to the rail and then back off. This time he'll try to just put a little less follow on it and make the nine ball in the corner pocket. There, there it is. is. Good shot by Mike Massey. And that's the way you want to start off. Congratulations from Paul Gurney. He's going to have to make the same shot now. Mike Massey with a one nothing lead. And as Paul sets this up, these two players have a lot of history together. Two great ambassadors of the game, traveling the world, doing trick shots. Notice the angle of the cue ball here. It comes right down the rail, hits the eight ball into the nine, and pockets the nine. The cue ball does not matter. Scratches do not matter in skill shots or trick shots. Yeah, but you had it. Okay. Now he's got to execute the same shot, Mitch. It's going to require a nice stroke on the cue ball, force follow stroke. The cue ball must have follow after it hits the rail and go down table and try to pocket the eight nine. Paul Gurney from Shawnee Mission, Kansas. Already has his work cut out for him. Okay, for this shot, the stroke shot, we'll try to uh, get the one ball out of the way, get the cue ball to follow to the rail, go around the six ball and come back down to pocket the eight ball, or the uh, nine ball off the seven, down the rail. I've seen the line I drew for the one ball. The one ball will go down table to the center of the table like so, and the cue ball actually did not take any follow English. I think Paul's mistake there, he did not follow through with his stroke. You have to follow through the cue ball. The nice high English. So just the same as in regular games, regular billiard games, stroke all important here. Paul needs the force follow on the cue ball, and he fails to put force follow on the cue ball, causing him to miss it. So Mike Massey jumps off to a quick start. one nothing here in Chicago. Much more great action after this. Complex. As we said, Mike Massey, 
A one nothing lead. Play, Paul uh, Gurney now describing his first passing lane. skill shot. Popular shot. This time we'll try to play the uh, eight ball, which is three balls out from the uh, from the uh, diamond number one. Two ball and eight ball are touching. Eight ball is lined up into the cushion. We have to straighten it out and get it to the corner pocket. Pocket is blocked, so the cue ball must clear the pocket of the one ball so there's room for that eight ball to go. So we'll have the cue ball shoot up and around the eight and down here to the cushion, get out, hit the one ball and get out of the way just in time for that eight ball to go in. <clears throat> the passing lane. Here's another situation of a force foul going past the eight ball. High right hand English coming through the eight ball, out of the way and make the eight Good ball in the shot. corner. Good shot for Paul Gurney. Ties him with Mike Massey at one apiece. Notice how the cue ball goes ahead of the eight ball and pockets the nine ball first, and then the eight ball goes in second. Great shot by like Paul Gurney. Shot. I like that <laughs> shot, Alan. Paul happy. Okay. And there he is. We're going to move ahead now to Mike Massey's second attempt on this same shot as you hear him chalk up. Mike should be able to do the shot pretty easy. Elevated kind of high. Look out, yeah. he does it. <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't get the cue ball to the rail, but I guess that'll be okay. Paul has no problem with it. Oh, I guess he does have a problem with it, though. The cue ball must come to the side rail before it makes the nine ball. And if Paul said that, the shot would be no good. We know Paul's ball did hit the side rail. We saw that. So let's see. Okay. Let's listen into this if we can. No. After that, I said the cue ball. No, the no. You can rerun it. You can look, listen. Can no, rerun. It. He didn't. You'll, doesn't. You'll he, he made the, I made the shot. That's okay. referee okay. Cecil That's Messer. Call, Here's another look at Paul Gurney's shot, Alan. <laughs> cue ball gets back to the rail, and the eight ball goes in second. But it was not necessary to get back to the rail, so Mike will be given okay, the point. Okay, I'm going to do a... Uh, All right, a Mike Massey at the table ahead. 2-1. This is his second about a ball shot. and a half away here. The cue ball is about a ball and a half or so away from the uh, three ball, and I want to draw the cue ball all over around, all way up, all the way around the table, and come back in this zone here. If I pocket four or scratch, if, even if I scratch, it's okay. But I got to, you know, this is speed control. Okay, know. so we're going to take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got to come back at least this far into okay. here. I'm three. Gonna, I'm going to use this grid. Yeah. This so I got to come at least. A yeah. nice draw shot with a lot of spin on the cue ball, right hand English. Drawing the cue ball around the table, three the rails. It is not necessary to make any ball on this shot, except the ball he's shooting. So we'll remind you again that these skill shots involve working the cue ball around the table. And that's what Mike's attempting to do here. Look at that, wow. Alan. Look at that take off. <laughs> the English on the cue ball now. It has to get down in between the two diamonds. Come on, baby. There we go, got there. Got to get there. down there, right in between the diamond, and that's close. Wow, that is close. Look at that. Mike's walking away. Using the basic ball. We're using the basic ball. No, just if it gets to this line here. Okay, I yeah, got my grid. Yeah. And the it's way touching you, the line there. Look, look at it. Wait a minute. <laughs> Let me talk. <coughs> I've got my grid, <laughs> and the way you judge the position of the ball is by the base, and you're not in it. I didn't say by the base of the ball. I, that's I how you judge the position of a ball. Whether no, it be no, a that's, ball this or is not by the book. This is not. This is. I just said get back line. In in our competition, all the, the line you go by the line touching. So you're just saying about? No, not about. If it's touching this line, if you're anywhere touching this line, it's good. Okay. <laughs> well, Mike a lot gets of the cue ball. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Mike does get the cue ball around the table, and he said it was in a certain area down there. But Mike is saying that he all he had to do was be down there by the line. And the referee is saying that he did not touch the line, so... I think Cecil's saying that the base of the ball didn't. Mike's saying the outer edge of the ball did. Well, I think he's touching it, Mitch, to tell you the truth. Uh, well, they allowed it, so I guess that is the decision. 3-1 Mike Massey now. A couple of early controversies here in the finals. It's worth 25000 <laughs> So you know they're taking it seriously. Gurney's second attempt now. Oh, bad at break. At that shot. Too much draw. He drew the ball right in the side pocket. So he misses that. Correct. Mike Massey leads 3-1. Now it's time for our Aramith Super Pro tip of the day. I'm now going to do a demonstration of cue ball control on a trick shot. What I'm going to do is pocket three balls in one shot. 
I'm going to pocket the one ball in the corner pocket, the two ball across side. And by hitting the cue ball with high left hand English, I'm going to make the cue ball hit the one ball, travel three rails, and pocket the five ball, my last ball. That's a demonstration of cue ball control. Welcome back to the ESPN Zone in Chicago. Mike Massey ahead 3-1. Paul Gurney about to take his second skill shot. Let's try to have the cue ball go around these, this wall of balls here. We'll line up some balls over here. About four balls angling over. Try to have the cue ball go to the cushion with a mass say and come back around and break down the pocket the seven ball in the corner pocket an extreme draw right. shot a lot of mass say yes. low english hitting the rail and coming back over to pocket the eight seven ball and there it is in the corner it's a tough shot boy oh very difficult talk about a skill shot as paul gurney attempts his second try at this want to thank Olhausen, the official table of trick shot magic. Olhausen featuring AccuFast cushions. See if Gurney can work it around those cushions. Very, very close. Very close. <laughs> and he doesn't want to let Mike Massey get too okay. far ahead here. Well, this shot, I want to <laughs> shoot into the cushion here. Maybe not. Bounce out Massey around the balls and pocket the seven ball in the corner pocket. Mike could have a difficult time with the shot if he's not familiar with you know, it. Because he's got such a strong in stroke, he may not give it a chance to take the English. He didn't say. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to overpower it. Notice the bridge he has. Wow. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> wow, Man, that, that was spun around. so close. That has to be tough to Man, hold the cue steady enough with your hand it's in the air. Oh, well, look at the bridge, <laughs> the bridge Mike Massey's using. He, okay, he's got his hand up in the air. Just his finger cupped around the cue, hitting way down on the cue ball, very hard, and oh, tough very shot. tough shot. Wow, tough shot. Well Get a point for trying that one, Mike, uh, Mike would say, I think. <laughs> okay, a tough shot. We've seen these players miss that shot before earlier. Gurney against Lars okay, Reber the in the semis. Empty, man. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Massey, now this shot is really interesting, Alan. Still up 3-1. Give this little ring here. It's this got is Mike's third skill shot now. Balance this ball. He's putting a ring down to hold the nine ball on top of the seven ball. You can see the ring on top of the seven ball. Okay, this is a shot you'll never get in a game of nine ball <laughs> or eight ball. I'm going to pocket sure. the three ball in the side pocket. Two balls going to jump up, hit the seven, knock the seven ball out from under the nine ball. The nine ball's got to fall down and stay on the bottle. The hard part here is knocking the seven out of the bottle. If he hits it with the cue ball, it should just go right out, and the nine ball should fall right down on top of the bottle. He has to make sure he makes the three ball on the side also. And there it is. <laughs> he does his little dance there, Mitch. <laughs> Tennessee two-step. Oh, it's a great shot. <laughs> He I likes like it. it. <laughs> <laughs> He'll let you know how he feels, won't he? <laughs> yes, he will. <laughs> Let's take another look. Here it is, hitting down the three, pocketing the three, and just touching the nine, the seven ball, and the nine ball falls right down on the bottle, and there it is again. Doesn't matter if the seven ball goes in. Excellent shot by Mike Massey. Boy, there was a lot going on there. I'd be so afraid <laughs> of shattering that glass. 4-1 Mike Massey now. Having, having a word with a friend. I guess somebody wants his autograph, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> In the middle of the match. <laughs> Might be a Massey cue there he's getting. I don't know. He has some Massey yeah, shots also. The guy said, <laughs> I'll pay you for that cue. <laughs> now Gurney's uh, got to set up the shot. I'll help you if you want. Well, Paul's got a tough time. Put, there it is. We want to thank Aramith for those beautiful balls, the official ball set of Trick Shot Magic, the original Belgian billiard okay, balls. another... Um, Interesting show shot. I'm trying to play the six ball on the side, make the cue ball jump up in the air, knock the seven out of the way, so the nine ball comes back down. Okay, now he's got to elevate his cue just like Mike did. Bottle. Get his cue up a little. Uh, okay, he's got it high enough. 
but he missed the six ball. <laughs> six went right in, six went right in the pocket and back like out. Dead center out. Oh, Gertie wow. walking away. He thought he made the shot. He even said make the six in the side. Paul said that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Paul looks I like he's Paul has to be feeling a little, <laughs> a little yeah, shell shot. Yeah, yeah. I wow. just said I'm ready for dinner. Yeah. So three decisions okay. now kind of gone oh, against Paul Gurney. Oh. Four to one Mike Massey. Like Let's yeah. take another look, Alan. Alan. Paul makes a nice shot. The six goes in the side pocket and back out. In and right back out. Wow, bad break for Paul Gurney. He definitely thought he had made it there. The ruling is that he did not. And once again, he'll have to come up with the same shot. He desperately needs a point here, Alan. He really does. Down 4-1. And Mike Massey, these two are great players, both of them. You don't want to let either one get out too far. It'll be too tough to make it up. You know, he missed the easiest part of it. Yeah. You know, the six ball in the side pocket. Right. The tough part, he knocked the seven off the bottle. But he didn't get the six in the pocket. Let's see if he can make it now. All that stuff I said last time. <laughs> <laughs> this time I have to make the six and try to knock the seven out of the way so the nine comes down. Oh, and he missed it again. Tough break for Paul Gurney. <laughs> he said he keeps forgetting that part. What he's forgetting is this is worth $25,000. We'll be back to Chicago after this. Welcome back to the ESPN Zone for Trick Shot Magic. Paul Gurney now ready for his third skill shot. Play a Massey. <laughs> Everybody likes to see a Massey. Let's play a Massey shot. Let's play the three ball in the corner pocket. Have the cue ball. These balls are set up so that they are the line of centers of those balls is right through the center of the other point of the pocket. We're going to play the cue ball to make the three in the corner. Have the cue ball to come out here and come back in to make the nine ball and uh, do it to hit a cushion. To see some cue ball magic here. It's going to go out yes. all the way around, take a loop, and come back and make the nine. The seven and the nine, the same pocket. I have enough trouble hitting it in a straight line, Alan. There it comes. There it, it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool magic. Deep breath by Paul Gurney and a thank you to the crowd. He really needed this, Alan. He had to make the shot. That's why skill shots are so much fun. Notice the draw on the cue ball to come back and pocket the nine ball in the same pocket. And you know what I noticed? His cue stick, he really went through that. And his cue stick stayed right on the table. Executed perfect. Beautiful shot by Paul Gurney as he looks at his tip there. Not frozen, right? Three ball is not frozen. So Mike Massey leading four to two. As he sets up the same exact shot. Is that good? Now you gotta come into and now table. we're getting some clarification here. I think both players now really want to know exactly what they have to do after some of the controversy. Right the That's a good idea, Mitch. <laughs> that seems like it right now. <laughs> Tapping those balls down to make sure they're frozen. Want to thank, as we look down on the beautiful green Simona's Billiard Cloth, thank them for their sponsorship. at this position now. Wow. Oh. 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 Very close. He's getting a lot of English on the cue ball with this shot. I think he's using a different cue than his other cue. I think he got a shorter cue on this shot. If we can take a look at it, yes, he well, does. It sure looks like it. It is. It is a shorter cue. He's actually using a cue that you would use in three cushion billiards for mass say shots. Tell you what, Mitch, I, that's totally legal. Yes, I like the idea here of using that type of cue. You're going to get a lot of action on the cue ball here. Here it comes. Oh, oh wow. What he's that is it? <laughs> <laughs> he had break. He said, he said that's the same thing I did on the first shot. So, Good shot by Paul Gurney. Results in a 4-2 Mike Massey lead four, now. Mr. Massey, 4, Mr. Gurney, 2. Mike Massey hitching up those pants. Mike living in Las Vegas, Nevada, originally from Chattanooga, Tennessee. One of the interested spectators, well, Nancy Hart, the president of again. Viking Cues. Great patron of this art. What's the score? And this will be Mike Massey's fourth skill shot coming up, leading four to two. Here, we play three balls in the corner, draw the cue ball around the seven, come up. 
hit the four, make the nine scratches, okay. Nice draw shot. Seven ball in the corner pocket. The cue ball will come forward about six, eight inches, go around those two balls and go down table and pocket the nine ball. Keep an eye on the cue ball here. A lot of low English draw, good draw stroke. Low left hand English. Here it comes, back down table. Did he catch the eight? He got it. He yes, made he the did. nine. Great shot. Yes, he did. A little bit of a statement here by Mike Massey after not getting a point on the last shot. Whew. Notice the action on the cue ball and he has spin on it. So when he comes off the rail, he then hits the eight and makes the nine. It's a great look at it here. Now watch that cue ball take off. Watch Mike's reaction. <laughs> yeah, he'll let you know. Yeah, baby, he says. He likes that shot. He made it in the semifinals against Stefano Palinga of Italy. Paul Gurney the shot here had to take the same shot. Ball, ball in the corner. Have the cue ball go around this uh, little wall of balls and come down here to make the nine ball in the corner pocket using the four or whatever. Let's play the shot. He's got a short, choppy stroke right here. Looks like it's going to be tough for him to execute this shot. You have to have a long, smooth stroke with a nice draw on it. Let's get it bad. So you're getting to see some of the differences in these two players, differences in their stroke and style. See how he's chopping down on the ball? Be very tough to do that way. Okay. Much quicker stroke than you saw Mike Massey make, Alan. You're right there. Mike Massey up 5-2 here at the ESPN Zone. Back for more after this. Welcome back. Speaking of somebody getting back, look at Paul Gurney's fourth skill shot. At this point down 5-2. And watch this. One, two, three, four. Balls, that made it 5-3. Mike Massey, who missed both of his attempts at that. Okay. So now as Massey's at the table describing his okay, fifth this, uh, skill we'll shot. Shoot into the four, four doesn't necessarily have to go, okay? But the cue ball has to hit on this side of the, of the pocket. Cue okay. ball's got to hit on this side of the side pocket, mm -hmm. go, go around the table, come down, pocket the nine. If it hits there, here it's okay. Three or more. Yeah. Extreme left hand English on the cue ball after it hits the side rail. Must hit the side rail below the side pocket first. You watch the cue ball take off with high left hand English coming around two rails, and it's just a little bit too short. So Mike will have a second try at that, probably putting a little bit more follow on the cue ball with a little bit more left hand English. Cue ball moved a Thank long way out. <laughs> cue ball must hit there, go around the table, hit the seven, make the nine. Extreme left hand spin on the cue ball. He'll know right away if he made it after it catches the second rail. Here it comes. That's He's got it. He's got it. He knows it. He knows he There it is. To him. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> A good shot by Mike Massey. Mike Massey appreciates it. The, the fans appreciate it. All right, here, Mike. Yeah, yeah, let's take another look, Alan. Watch, watch this cue ball. What a stroke. Notice how low it hits and comes all the way down table to the bottom rail with spin on the cue ball coming down and touching the seven and pocketing the nine ball. Paul Gurney tried twice but could not match that shot of Mike Massey's. Massey leading six to three now. Remember this is a cumulative point total. The winner of this match, $25,000. We'll move ahead now to Paul Gurney's fifth skill shot. And Paul's going to jump the cue ball over the rack, over the uh, bridge. Pocketing the nine ball in the corner, the cue ball will come backwards and make the seven ball in the corner. Let's play the cue ball to pocket the one. Keep Good an eye on the cue ball here. Under. Draw English. Come on back. And no English on the cue ball. So Paul misses the nine ball in his first attempt. And he'll get a second try. That's the voice of Alan right, Hopkins you're listening to. Mitch Lawrence, both of us. Here in Chicago at the ESPN zone. Mike Massey leading 6-3. See there, just to Paul's right. Viking cues the official cue of trick shot magic. Take your best shot with Viking. Oh. And Paul Gurney wanted that to come back another few inches and it did not. So the score stays 6-3. <coughs> Okay, we call this shot the over and under. <laughs> Mike Massey letting you know what goes on. Okay. Two, two, you had it, Talk a lot about this, Alan. 
great showman. Both of these guys, great showmen. Okay, I'm gonna pocket the one ball <coughs> in the corner pocket. Q ball jumps over the bridge, comes back under the bridge, and pockets the seven ball. Now he's going to make sure he draws the cue ball back after he pockets the one ball in the corner. Something that Paul Gurney forgot to do to the cue ball. And this would be disheartening if Mike makes this after this is Gurney's shot and he didn't make it. See if Mike Massey does. <laughs> so not only making his own shots, but making Paul Gurney's shots now. Mike Massey jumps out to a four point lead. 7 3. Another look, Alan. Hits this shot perfect. The one ball in the corner. The cue ball goes over the bridge. And here comes the draw English on the cue ball. Coming back to pocket the seven ball in the corner pocket. Okay, this is a... Paul Gurney had made this against Lars Reber in his semifinal match. And interestingly, Mike Massey missed it against Stefano Polinga. But this time... Drop shot. Brings it back. 7-3 Mike Massey. This will be his sixth skill shot. Okay, on this shot, I'm going to play the four ball in the corner. Draw the cue ball into this, the cushion on the other side of the five ball, bounce out, go around the five ball, come back up, hit the seven, mark, make the nine, and if I scratch, it's okay. And that's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to make the cue ball dance. Shooting the ball in the corner pocket, going past the five ball, coming off the rail with extreme draw English, going back down table, and pocketing the nine ball. Mike Massey's special. And here it comes. He does that shot great. He loves this shot. <laughs> Fantastic. He loves that shot. He is a serious man right now. Let's take a take another look at this. This is for 8-3. There it is. Coming right back. Hitting the seven ball and pocketing the nine ball. And as you said, Alan, this is a real Mike Massey shot. A real stroke shot. Yes, it is. He's going to let it out. And he takes full advantage of that talent. 8-3. Mike Massey. Paul Gurney will have to make the same shot, and he needs to start making some of okay. these now. This is a circular draw. We're going to try to uh, play the four ball <coughs> in the corner pocket, have the cue ball go to the cushion on the far side of the five ball, come off the cushion without touching it, come back down here to play the seven and the nine. Alan, we've talked a little bit about the differences in stroke. Is this going to be a problem for Paul, given that his stroke is not quite as powerful as Mike Massey's? A big problem. I can't see him doing it. No. I don't see him having the draw stroke that Mike Massey has. Um, very difficult for Paul to do this shot. Actually, it's a very difficult shot for anybody, to tell you the truth. But it's uh, at this point in time right now, I'd say it's going to be very difficult for Paul. <laughs> I mean, Mike just hits the shot so good. And I think Mike taking advantage of his strengths right now. He's making Paul do Same shots shot, like this. The cue ball, the describing what he's going to do. Is Paul around the discouraged, ball. you think? He seems to be he's a little bit frustrated. He had a, a couple of early controversial calls. Now he's down 8-3. Is he feeling like he's in a rut, you think? Seems like everything's going against him. Uh, see, it just doesn't have the stroke for it. Everything's <laughs> going against him. So uh, I tell you, Mike's in the driver's seat right now for that 25000 he sure is. 8-3 Mike Massey. A lot more from Chicago after this. A look at Mike Clark, Senior Vice President of Olhausen Billiards with the $25,000 check for our Trick Shot Magic winner. Thanks to Olhausen for their sponsorship. Paul Gurney now has to make something happen and he's going to try with his sixth skill shot. I think for this shot we're trying uh, try behind the back wing shot. We'll try to roll the ball down the table, bring the cue ball back behind the back, and fire the ball in the pocket to make it any kind of way, play the uh, five ball in the corner. Talk about a skill shot. <laughs> Bringing your cue stick behind your back I, I to pocket a ball uh, as it's moving. Right Thanks. He's moving Cecil Messer, the referee, out of the way, so you know he's going to... There it is. Oh, almost. <clears throat> This is very difficult. This is right, one of, uh, Paul's favorite shots, though. Alan, he loves this shot he told me before. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see why. <laughs> oh that is tough. I'd be afraid I'd spear <laughs> myself in the back. So moving ahead a bit, Mike Massey missed both of his shots. He still leads 8-4. Here's Paul Gurney's seventh skill shot. This time we have the stripe on the 
intersection of the two diamonds near the pocket. The cue ball is lined up behind it and touching. And it's lined up for this point up here. The challenge is to have the cue ball to go around the nine ball. We don't have to make the nine ball, get the cue ball to go around it so it passes in front of the nine and goes one, two cushions and three if necessary, make the 15 ball in the corner pocket. And he's going to have to try to get the cue ball in front of the object ball and go two rails around the table and pocket the ball in the corner pocket, one that's hanging in the corner. I will probably be on the right side of that diamond. Stroke is very important here. A lot of right hand English on the cue ball. Getting ahead of the object ball. Have to watch out for a kiss. And he, oh, he got a kiss there. And he still made the Just ball, but it doesn't count. Look at that. That. <laughs> that won't count, though. He stops it. <laughs> okay. He'll give it as another he, try. Uh, he will as he chalks up. We want to thank Silver Cup Chalk. Another of the terrific sponsors here for Trick Shot Magic. Let's see if he can make this work. No. no. no I'm surprised there, Mitch. I thought he would make that. Okay, so Mike Massey still up 8-4. to four. Paul Gurney, as we look at Stefano Palinga, who lost to Mike Massey in his semifinal match. Okay, this shot I'm going to shoot. I have the cue ball to pass the nine ball, go two cushions, come back and pocket the 15 ball in the corner. Kenny needs to get the cue ball in front of the object ball, and there it is. He might have it. it he might have it, Mitch. Oh, 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 boy. So close, but yet so far. <laughs> <laughs> he still, Mike can't believe he missed it. <laughs> That was a good attempt by Mike Massey. Same shot. The cue ball goes around the nine, goes two cushions, come back, pockets, 15 ball. <laughs> he said, the cue ball I think must I did beat, that last time. Yeah, the cue ball must beat the nine ball to the rail. It has to beat it. There it is. He might That's have it. it. There it is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Point for Mr. Massey. <laughs> a snap of his fingers. Huh? Let's take another look. This is Really, really good shot, Al. Look Super at that. Super shot. Great shot by Mike Massey. Well done. Notice Watch the cue ball. race around the nine. It's always amazing to me that it actually <laughs> makes it around the nine. <laughs> A very, very solid shot from Mike Massey. He'll be getting ready for his eighth and final skill shot. We'll be back after this. And for those of you who might not be interested in trick shots, there's always something to do here at the ESPN Zone. Get in shape, have a bike race. This is a fabulous place to be. Mike Massey at the table up 9-4. This is his second attempt on his eighth skill shot. And this is a pretty commanding lead right now. Paul Gurney is going to have to try to get back in this. And pocket the nine ball. And if Mike makes this jump shot, that's going to be tough to do. Mike is going to jump over all the balls, Jump on the other side, hit the two ball, and make the nine ball in the corner. And the difficulty here is jumping over the balls and keeping the cue ball on the table. Oh. And there it is. That's one problem. <laughs> you called it. Exactly. You made both of those balls. <laughs> He's got to hit a little bit of issue next time. <laughs> he gets carried away. I should have said you can jump the table. <laughs> Let's take another look. He said he should have said he could jump off the table. Look at how far he jumps the wow. ball. Just a little Whoa. too far. <laughs> Whoa. Man, that's a long way. Look at this. Almost nine feet. Wow. Catches that's about eight feet in the air, Alan. Wow. Okay, so he didn't make it, but neither did Paul Gurney. He missed that shot twice. So still down 9-4 to long Mike Mess. Might as have a little fun with it. Let's try to get the cue ball to... Uh, Play a timing uh, shot with a Massé. Have a little fun. Tough shot, but it's certainly a lot of fun to do. Let's try to play the red ball around the table. One, two, three cushions. Two more, four, five. When it comes down here, we come over here to play the Massé. Play the one ball in the corner. Hopefully the cue ball will Massé back in time to make the three ball in the corner pocket. You talk about timing you shot. <laughs> I'm amazed you got all those lines on the <laughs> table. <laughs> well, I'm showing the three ball going around the table, five rails. It's going to come to the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. And while it's going toward that corner, he's going to hit it now. He's coming over. He's going to mass say the one ball and bring the cue ball back and try to make the three ball right now. Oh, whoa, there whoa. it is. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Just misses it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. 
He should be smiling. What a great shot this is. Oh. What a great shot this is. Even looks, even looks good when you miss. This is a fabulous <laughs> setup. Yeah. Normally the crowd doesn't get that excited over a miss, but this no. is worth it. One more try. Even if Mike, he makes it, they're going to go nuts. Here it is. It's a Not little really short. This is short. This Come on, hit it. Hit it, hit it. Get, get that air, get that air. Oh, oh, boy, oh. he's close again. <laughs> Ooh, I wanted to make it. <laughs> oh, boy. Fun shot. You heard him, a fun shot. Grazie, oh. grazie. tell you, Paul Gurney does so many of these shows around the world, as do a lot of these guys, Alan. And I know for a fact that one of the things they love most about it is the chance to excite the crowd. Boy, these shots do it. Let's see if Mike Massey can do this. <laughs> I've actually seen him make that shot a few times. a few times, too. Okay, I got... Okay, I'm going to try the impossible shot that uh, Paul just <coughs> attempted. I'm going to shoot the three ball, five cushions around the table. Massey to <coughs> pocket the one. Massey to cue ball and try to pocket the three ball uh, somewhere in that area up there. <laughs> and again, Mike's going to have to get the three ball around the table just to stop at the corner pocket right there so the cue ball can come around and he won't <laughs> even have a chance there. <laughs> and look at him. Stopped in his tracks. <laughs> and those, I you might tell you, I that those sound effects shot. you hear in the background are from I other games here at the ESPN zone. <laughs> Sometimes the timing is amazing. I mean, it sounds like they're giving him the buzzer just for missing a shot. Well, he's got a chance now. Now the ball's coming down. And, oh, oh boy. Okay. You shot. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> so two good attempts by Paul Gurney, two by Mike Massey. He still leads 9-4 after the skill shots back after this. Welcome back to Chicago, the ESPN zone. All kinds of stuff going on inside. We've got some raft racing. You know, just your normal stuff in the middle of Chicago. <laughs> Lusardo getting that rack ready for Mike Massey's first artistic trick shot. Okay, this is a shot that Ken Ellsworth showed me, the Sarge. I don't know if y'all know the Sarge. He does exhibition great. What I'm going to do here is, is pocket the eight ball. The eight ball the black ball in this corner pocket the eight ball has to go first now if you make a couple other balls that's okay but the eight ball has to go first in this pocket right here and uh, <clears throat> if you scratch it's okay you're gonna see a push shot he's going to push right through the balls with the cue ball and make the eight in the corner that's a great shot <laughs> it's illegal but it's illegal in regular play <laughs> regular trick play. shots or skill shots it's allowed he pushes. Thank you, Ken Ellsworth. I'm not going to pull from that. <laughs> Let's take another look. And as you said, Alan, he's just pushing that ball. Pushes the cue ball right, right through, through and, and makes the eight ball in the corner. That's a pretty shot. It's a pretty shot, and Mike Massey's loving it. He's on 10-4 <laughs> now. Remember, folks, this is worth $25,000 to the winner of this match. Puts his cue stick on there. 10-4, Mike Massey does not draw that cue stick back. And you know, I wonder I'm wondering, if he's thinking about what the money's going to go for. <laughs> I'm wondering if Paul picked that up, that he just put I his cue stick on there it. and pushed through it. If he tries to what stroke this, he won't be able to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Said he That's just saw it. Yeah, he won't be able to do it if See, he doesn't. Now he's looking like he's going to actually stroke this. Well, he can't yep. do it stroking it. He has another attempt. Plus, he has to hit a little easier, Mitch. I think he has to hit the shot a little bit softer and push through it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, I respect that shot. He respects that shot. As you look at the hands of Lou Sardo, we want to say thanks for Lou and the Sardo Tight Rack, the official rack of Trick Shot Magic, the only rack with repeatable precision. Let's see if Paul Gurney can make this work. Paul's going to have to push through the rack a little bit easier than before, and the eight's going. Oh, and it just gets kicked it's out. Got knocked out. Boy, that's right. So a good shot for Mike Massey, not so for Paul Gurney. 10-4, Mike Massey. Let's move ahead and take a look at Paul Gurney's first artistic shot. Okay, for this shot, we'll try something like this. Let's put the uh, couple move a couple balls out here. Those are already touching, of course. Let's put these other balls over here and. We'll try to play the eight ball on this shot. 
We'll try to play the eight ball in the corner pocket. Cue ball is down here and it's hooked by the corner pocket. The challenge is to have the cue ball to go into the rail, come off the rail, hit the three ball. Three ball hits the eight. Eight caroms off the six and 14 and into the corner pocket. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, on this shot here. Okay, there's a lot wow. of kisses in here. He's going to have to go past the side pocket, hit the rail, hit the three ball, and there's the eight ball in the corner pocket. Nicely done. Yeah. And again, remember at home, these are artistic trick shots. The key is setting up the shots. Alan talked about it before. This one obviously set up and hit perfectly. Paul Gurney, a happy camper right now. He's gotten it to 10-5 against Mike Massey, and he needs all the points he can get, Alan. Here it hits a three ball, the eight ball, caroms off another ball and goes out of the pack into the corner pocket. Boy. It's a pretty shot. <laughs> it's fun to watch. I mean, when they're executed like that, they are really fun to watch. Some of the interested spectators here. I never shot this shot before in my life. It's a new one. Huh? It's a good, good straight pull shot here. <laughs> and it is a good straight pull shot. It has to be set up correct, and it was not set up correct, so he'll make an adjustment. He got close. He got close. Yes, he did. <laughs> he seems happy about that. It seems like with a shot of this nature, Alan. Okay. And I'm not, I know Lou's right. setting this up. How do you set these up? How do you figure these out? Yeah. Well, it's actually, a long tradition in the game. Somebody figured these out a long time ago. Yes, they're actually straight pool shots, and they come up in straight pool. And when you play a game of straight pool, you learn it because your opponent may play it against you. You may play it in a match, and if you make it, then you know the shot. Uh, also, yeah. some of these trick shots have been handed down through generations. So, not that they've seen the shot before they made the shot, but they've seen it somebody else play it well, and they learned how to do it i know this shot for example willie moscone used to do it yes um so we're talking about a long line of trick shot artists you're seeing two of the best Did I say in the, the world ball? right here <laughs> 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 yeah. made a ball unfortunately for him the wrong ball 10-5 mike massey still a commanding lead here in chicago we'll be back after this speaking of viking let's take a look at our viking super shot Mike Massey's third skill shot got it to four to one, and he's dancing for good reason. <laughs> and what a super shot. Let's take Pock another look. Pocketing the three ball on the side, knocking the seven off the bottle. Here it is again, three on the side, the seven off the bottle. The nine stays on top of the bottle. Our Viking super shot of the match. Mike Massey loved it. Paul Gurney now with a lot of pressure. This is his second artistic shot. He needs to make this. I'd like to do a classic shot from uh, the great Japanese uh, champion, Yoshikatsu Kimura. And for this shot, we'll try to play the uh, Kyoto Freeway. And that means this time we're going to try to have balls going at different speeds, going all different directions. The seven ball and the one ball go this way. The five and three go in, but only after the cue ball has successfully pocketed the two balls down here. Uh, cue ball comes through those balls, pockets the four and the eight. Eight ball in the corner, four ball in that corner pocket. Hopefully it gets out of the way. Just as long as you make the six balls, right? Yeah. We want to make all six balls in one shot. Yeah, I mean, just as long as you make the six. Yeah, we just got to make sure we keep it out of the way. Yeah. And the two balls that are going to be the most difficult on this six ball shot where oh, the two the bottom right bottom corner here they're going to go in last let's try to make the kyoto free all six forward. balls are going to go in one Watch shot watch the last two go they're very slow here they go and oh. this is the oh. last of the three oh. ball on the left hand corner <laughs> very very close and i know that paul gurney has a lot of respect as do people all over the world for the legendary yochikatsu kimura from japan Keep talking it. about Paul Allen traveling around the world, as does Mike Massey, and comes into contact with a great many players from around the world. As he sets up this shot, we want to make sure that we mention and thank the Mikhail Darafiev company for the beautiful game room furniture. Players have been seated in all during this match. Okay, one more time. The Kyoto Freeway. One and seven in the corners, five and six in those corners after the four and the eight go in. Six balls, one shot. See if he made the adjustment on the three ball in the corner. Look out for the cue ball. Oh, he would have had it, too. Okay, thank you, anyway. Very, very unfortunate there. 
Looked like he had a good shot going there, Alan. Until he got kicked out. <laughs> it was going right you in the corner. Tell it's, it's taking its toll on Paul Gurney here. <laughs> Tough day today, he said. There's a lot of pressure, Alan. You won 50,000 in the 1993 Challenger Champions. Yes. You know what it's like to feel the kind of pressure to play for a large sum of money in one match. Yes, this is their largest payday in, in trick shot shows. So that's for great the for them. We're happy to see that. See what Mike Massey can do with this. If he makes this <coughs> shot, he will win $25,000. Okay, on this shot here, this is uh, one of Paul's attempts where he got very unlucky. Uh, I'm going to try to talk to the one ball in the corner, the two ball in this corner, three ball in the corner, the seven ball in the corner, the five and the six. Uh, the now the two toughest balls to make are going to be the three and the seven ball in the corner pockets. They'll go last. So let's keep an eye on those two balls and here they come. Are they going to go? Oh. Yes. Oh. Just missed a cue. <laughs> a fitting ending there for Mike Massey. Terrific shot, an appreciative crowd, and a wonderful tournament for Paul Gurney. One of the great ambassadors for the game, the president of the WTSAA, the worldwide governing body of trick shot artists. We will see him again for sure. And one happy man, Mike Massey, $25,000 richer, Alan. And he proved he has the most skill with that Q stick the group of fellows here with his draw shots and his Massey shots. Fabulous international field. You're seeing some of the work they've done all week. We're happy we've been here in Chicago at the ESPN Zone for Alan Hopkins. I'm Mitch Lawrence. This 